Hello and welcome yet again to Forgotten Temples, Cambodia. Isn't this a delightful bridge? And there's a reason for bridges, they traverse water. And this here is an enormous uh, moat, but I'll be showing you that in a moment. For I am at Niem Rub, which is a small little temple here. So this will be a quick run around. But before I start, may I give you some advice? It just may come in handy. If you ever, and I mean ever, see one of these plants, with those brown things on, just run, please, in the name of God, run as fast as you can. Because I've just been filming another temple and those little brown things rubbed against me and my forearms, my back, and it even penetrated my trousers, which is denim. It's like I was being eaten by ants. It was unbelievably painful. It was just yet another thing that the jungle threw at me. It's unbelievable how aggressive it is. But not here. Dear old Niam Rube is placed in a beautiful pagoda. And we'll be having a look at that as well because that golden temple that you saw as we begun really is an absolute specialty. So, as always, take my hand and let's have a quick few minutes of seeing something ancient in a mystical land. Let us just trip up this bridge so I can show you that moat I promised you. Look, this is very broad. And this is a very common practice with temples, of course, is a moat will surround it. But it's very rare one gets a bridge of such splendid glory. Isn't it lovely? See this big snake that comes down here as the balustrade. And there he is, you see, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? You see them rather a lot. Now, we want to have a quick look at this temple, don't we? Because look at its lovely goldenness. It really is something special. And to look inside is quite the treat because what we see are depictions on the wall of fables of uh, ancient stories telling us about, you know, kings and gods and all these kinds of things. So let's have a quick look, see what we can find in here. Ooh. And this is what we find, and that's pretty spectacular. In the background you can see these panels with the stories on. Because it's so badly lit, I can't really show them to you. But I can show you this rather splendid Buddha. But it's not the modern temple we've come to see, of course. What we've come to see is the ancient one and have a look. There he is. He's nestled right next to the modern temple. Now, this is quite common. Um, it's surprising it's not every single time to me because it would just make sense. And as you can see, he has taken a fair old whack from time. But there's some details we can have a look at but he can still show us some of his past glories, of course, and we have to fill in the gaps. Here is the plinth, and yet again, we're lacking the statue, and it breaks my heart. Over here, we have what would be the pinnacle of the Shikra, the, the tower. This would have gone right on the top, like the head of a needle. But even better, here we have a bit of sculpture and what would have been a fine young lady. But unfortunately, as is common, her head has gone. But considering the age of this at near a thousand years, let's get a little bit closer. Look at how this arm is done. It's incredibly graceful, isn't it? It's a remarkable piece of carving. And as we leave that lady, there's another just here. And of course, these wonderful detailings. This was a very detailed 
uh, temple. It's not a particularly large one, but let's just get a bit closer and we can see this. Look, you see, look at this. And I'll just put my finger here as I like to do to give you an idea. And this is done in relief. Look, this has been all carved out and that takes an awful long time. And there's quite a few levels of it. And of course, it goes all the way around the temple. It's on the stairs and we had the carvings and everything else. So an enormous amount of work. It would have been the prettiest of temples, this with all that, you know, detail and artwork that was la lavished upon it. And we conclude our walk around because as I said, this will just be a brief video due to really, it doesn't tell us an awful lot. We have a modern lion here, for instance. You know, people will uh, leave offerings here, but it's a shame a few dollars hasn't been spent to try and put some of these blocks back the way they should be. I, I think with time, they would be appreciated a lot more. And you never know, these videos of me just walking around doing this may help reconstruct them because some bits may will fall down since. And these videos, they'll say, oh, look, that's how, where, how that goes. And that's where that was. It may help someone, which would be a wonderful thing. So there you go, Niam Rube. He's, uh, well, he's in a most chaotic state, but at least he's weeded and there's no trees growing out of him. So there's hope for him in the future. And with the new addition of the Golden Temple looking over him, we can only hope his future is bright. This has been a brief video, not an awful lot to say. But as always, like, subscribe, comment. And as always, I wish you absolutely nothing but the very best. Do take good care.